Leaving Luoyang after two days of stay. Nice city, to be honest. Yeah, another hotel or the last one, right? So arrived in Hefei, <laughs> but this is a Quanji Jiudian. It's a four star or five star hotel. So it's got three hundred fifty or something, three hundred eighty. Not really cheap in China, but look at these facilities. I think it's good, and uh, the location is really good. The most uh, busiest uh, business pedestrian is just outside because uh, you know I don't have a lot of time this, uh, in this city. I'm just uh, trying to utilize the time, maybe a couple of hours, do a simple scooter riding in the city center, then take uh, you know several footages of the street views <coughs> of the the whole city. Then that's it. Yeah, I mean it so far. The cabinet for your clothes in China they always give you these uh, slippers I don't think in in the Nordic countries they prepare this uh, there's a I don't know the tea ceremony and uh, what's the ah some you know sparkling water oh, this is my wallet and this is the bed and uh, this is the television handsome guy in Hefei <laughs> and uh, this is the bathroom yeah, very clean. Well, I mean, the the renovation isn't very new. It's kind of like uh, five years old or something. Here's the bathroom. Oh, the bathroom is very nice. It's a little bit dirty on the front. So, yeah, but it's a uh, it's a reasonable. So I'm not a picky guy. And it's all good. <laughs> yeah. This is the the hotel. Another scooting job in the capital of Anhui province, Hefei city, is started. So this is the most uh, hustling and bustling busiest uh, part of Hefei. So let's go and check out. I believe there is a. So I believe there is a ancient uh, three kingdom war field in this area. It was called the Hefei Zhang, uh, the, the the Battle of Hefei. And uh, there are now, uh, of course, the the ancient. Uh, Battlefield has already been removed or destroyed, or <laughs> after like uh, two thousand years, two thousand years of the history. I was researching, you know, the capital of Anhui is there an interesting ancient monument or ancient uh, buildings or architecture we can check out. Actually, there are few. There are a few. I'm going to, I'm going to the old uh, Chen Huang Temple. So, the Chen Huang Temple is something like the food snack street. It's that similar as Shanghai. As I said before, when I first get into Hefei, 
I have the feeling the coffee city is uh, really, really like Shanghai. Still dangerous putting in this uh, place. It's a kind of like, I don't know, everyone is familiar with what they are doing. Just uh, I'm not very good at scooting or something. Such a chaotic place. Well, not, not really chaotic, but you know, the car is too close. Now we are in some like little alleys, you know, just like the Shanghai little alley, you know, neighborhood that I showed always. Let's check it out uh, the next street or something. It's there, I have al already seen it. Look at this, it. it's called uh, something, something. <laughs> Whatever. So walking on the street of uh, Hefei's Chenghuang Temple, uh, it's not very populated actually today. Maybe it is a working day, not the weekend. Uh, not like Luoyang, right? <laughs> we saw a lot of girls and you know, in the young generation, they are wearing the traditional Han custom, and yeah, so. Okay, yeah, it's some kind of like stone gate. Yeah, some of the historical monument or historical building. So, aha, uh -huh, so this is a Luzhou Chenghuang Temple Foundation. Okay. Yeah, it was built during the, the Northern Song Dynasty, so 1051, quite a long time ago, like 1000 years ago. 1982 it was rebuilt and repaired are we allowed to get in maybe not so the door is shut i think it's too late because uh, it's like 6 30 or something it's too late I think this is the main entry of the Chenghuang Temple. You see this uh, annoying repeating advertisement yelling a, a whole day or something. But you know, um, I'm kind of like uh, hungry. I just saw this noodle shop. It's it called Lao Dian, right? It's by Nian Lao Dian, so 100 years old of the noodle shop. So maybe it is uh, good to check out this uh, Liu Chao Ju noodle shop let's go so, yeah it was founded in 1898 so let's check it out oh. Oh, Shall uh, uh, what a massive noodles. I just had 
this noodles. I can promise it is almost uh, the most uh, delicious noodles I have ever ate in China. Um, when I was in Henan or you know northern part, as well as Xuzhou, I was I was kind of like uh, suspected about the food. I wasn't dare to try a lot of like sna uh, sweet snacks because I really concerned about this, uh, you know, the food security or the the you know the, the food sanity sanitation. So I didn't order a lot of uh, you know local traditional one. But once I get back to to the southern part of the the Yangtze River in here in Hefei. I felt like oh it's all good it's all you know as similar as Shanghai and uh, it's not about uh, I want to find some similar things as home but it's the the vibes of the the restaurant it's clean it's promising and uh, <coughs> you don't see flies you know flying around and uh, you don't see those like uh, dirty sticky desks and the chairs these kind of things. to experience the metro in Hefei city yeah so I have to, I have to take line one, line 5 first for two stops then transfer to line 2 for another two stops they pay it in this way it's not the, the machines scan you but you have to scan the machine 2 RMB to get Da Dongmen okay so the metro in perfect the most busiest pedestrian in this city I believe it makes you really, really you know miss home but this is the last night yeah just enjoy the views cheers mm -hmm. 